Hi and welcome back to a new video from privatefs.no where we are going to build a home-made cockpit from a Boeing 737-800. Today I have received a new package from uh, Cockpit Sim Parts from UK where I have ordered uh, switches, annunciators, gauges, and uh, some other small stuffs. So I'm going to open this package together with you where we will see all these parts. At the same time, I have taken down from the simulator I have shown in a previous video where I have brought down the overhead panel. I will show you to it with a, with a new camera I do have so you can see what I have done and what I'm going to do further on. Hi. And here you see my overhead that I have from the simulator. What I have done is that I have taken it down from the attic into my home office where I'm going to change all the switches, input the new coach, and also input the annunciators that we are going to make work further. Uh, you see that I have just uh, temporarily fixed it to the wall and with some uh, planks to the roof just to have it in the nearby where I'm doing the work with, uh, with it. So this will be very interesting. I will show more when we do the work with the switches and everything. Hi, then we're back and I'm ready to open this package. I'm really excited to get it open. So let's start. So I've been spending a lot of hours to try to find these buttons and these switches, uh, well switches definitely, and this gauge and all these uh, annotators and everything and here we got a package list, so I will check out later on that I have received everything. It's to the 737-800. Okay, I take out the stuff. So here we have an inner package, one. And interesting, I take that little letter. But here we do have all these knobs, uh, real knobs that look very authentic so that will be interesting to put on this overhead cool a lot of them and then we have all the switches heavy switches cool so here we have it really feels really good on off on switches and then we have additional other switches this is on off on that means in fact push in both directions but uh, neutralize in the center and then we have pot meters and the APU here we have the APU one start in the bottom but it keeps up that's pretty cool and we also have additional pot meters we do have additional buttons small press buttons green red for the recorder and for others, we have this, uh, I don't remember the name, but uh, it's, uh, uh, for the use, I will be back on it. And then we have these caps, black and red caps. We take a red cap. Cool. 
that will be looking good when we have it. And also, of course, a black one that is identical. Cool. And then we have more switches. We have got on on switches. The heavy buttons, heavy switch, in fact. And we have further on where we have the encoders. We have another one here. And we have a set of light diode for making lights in these uh, annotators. Interesting. I will not open them yet. And then we have received more switches that is on the same we had previously with taking off this also it seems to be some regular switches that is being used and we have another box with switches it seems like here the same on off cool and then this box is empty so then I expect that in the next box we have some indicators, annunciators. So here we have the annunciator boxes for putting the diode into and make fill on it later on and make some lights. And on top of them we do have print out all these uh, indicators where it will light through. It smells new. Really smells new. So kept PyTot example. So then we can take one box. I will not put them together because it will be difficult to maybe take it out later, but I will then match. Cool. So I put it back and I put this back too. So I got this. I got a couple of them. Well, a couple is few, but I got a minute enough. And all the one, all the indicator, all that written to to the annunciators on the overhead. And probably what is this? I think it gives me some possibilities to, to make something by myself. Yes, it is black circles inside. Then we got a new encoder. Rotary, Rotary is not encoded, but Rotary uh, switch. The blue one. And here we have all the gauge. The gauge. So if I open one by one, I think it's handmade. Here we have one, looking so forward for this one. Cool. Here we have for the APU. It's with servo and it's ready for backlighting. Interesting. This looks really nice. Well done work perfectly. 
this looks really cool. So it will be interesting to have working. So the EGT. have that one and then we have another it will be a little longer video but uh, I would like to show you what I get and here we have the cabin climb the same very nice made with this uh, servo motor. Cool. I will not try to touch the, the part of it because it can be broken. So I will put electricity to, to it later on. Then we have that one. And then we have another. flaps the one for the flaps in the MIPS so I decide to buy the part to the MIPS too because I'm using the flaps all the time and I really would like to show it physically instead of looking at a screen the same method ready for backlighting and with a servo it's perfect this looks really nice so we have that one it carefully here so we don't break them. Then we have another. It's like a Christmas present. Opening my Christmas presents. Here we have another one. Duct pressure. Here we have two servo motors working together to make the both indicators the, if you see there's two arrows with the two servo motors working so we get a really authentic way to look it and the same here it's ready for backlighting so it's cool we'll show it later in uh, in use with try testing and then we have Another one. So I have ordered all these goats to the overhead. I hope it's the right word for these instruments. And here we have the fuel temperature. Really nice. Fuel temperature with uh, backlighting possibilities. I really like this in the way that it can be backlighted. And then we have another one. This is the next last I have in the package. And here we have temperature. Same made method. It so looks really nice. I will show you later when it's working. I do see that we have some kind of things we need to think about when we're going to put it into the overhead, but that we will figure out later. I will show you how I do that and how we can solve it. So temperature. And then I do have one big one left. I think it's for pressure too. Let's see. Interesting. And I think it should be the cabin pressure. Be careful so I don't destroy it. There we have it. It is with two servo motors and it is the cabin pressure with uh, one inner indicator and with one outer indicator. So it looks 
really nice. So it's a good handmade work. So I think this really would be nice when we backlight it, backlit it. Cool. Okay, then I have packed out all the components I received in this package. I have all these small instruments with all the switches. I take it down. Oops, sorry. But here we do have all the indicator, uh, the, the gauges, and then we have all the small parts to the overhead. So it will be really interesting to take these parts now and put up to here. I will show you later when it will be fitted and how it looks. See you later. Thank you for watching. I will be back with a new movie quite soon. Don't think. Pull up. Terrain. Gear is down.